Hi, I'm John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food. Today is Friday and I'm actually in St. Kitts and last Friday I went down to the village of St. Paul's and I had the most amazing barbecue pork chops from this guy called Jules at Morris Barbecue. So today is a Friday again I'm gonna head back down to Morris Barbecue and have those pork chops and I would like to take you with me. All right so I arrived in uh, St. Paul's. What part of St. Paul's are we? Uh, Station Street. Station Street. So this is Jules from Morris Barbecue and as i said earlier i came by here last friday and i had one of these most amazing pork barbecue pork chops and it was fantastic i went with robert and another lady and we had a great time so i i told you i asked him if i can come back and actually interview him and um and try these pork chops again because it was on my mind all week i mean when, when food is memorable it means it's good and this here was actually, actually very memorable so how long have you been doing this here now Jules? just a little over 10 years Oh, 10 years? Yeah. Okay, okay. And you've always, now I see on the barbecue here you have chicken and you also have pork. Yes. Do you do any any other items or maybe yes. just chicken and pork? I normally do fish and ribs. But for today, I normally do chicken and pork now. And then later, I do some fish. Okay, okay, very well. And what area we are in right now in St. Paul's, in St. Kitts? In St. Kitts, in St. Paul's, we call it Station Street. And otherwise, other people in the city go along the tunnel. Oh, around the turning. Yeah. So in Station Street, around the turning. Yeah. And what's this statue right across from me? Um, this is a national hero, first premier of Saint Kitts and Nevis. Okay. Robert Llewellyn Bradshaw. Oh, Robert Llewellyn so Bradshaw. Our, our airport also named after him. Okay. Very well. So that's where Jules is located, right next to the Robert Llewellyn Bradshaw statue in Station Street, around the corner. You said, right? Yeah, around the turning, St. Paul. Around the turning, St. Paul's. Okay, very well. Well, last week that pork chop I had from you was really, really good. I mean, it was, it was I, I actually, we only bought one, yes. but in retrospect, I wish I had bought two. I mean, it was so, <laughs> it, I, I, seriously, I, I, I sucked the bones. You can ask my, my good friend, Robert. I sucked the bones, I was looking for more meat. I couldn't find more meat. Oh, it was it was delicious. And, and, and let me tell you something, Jules. That was on my mind the whole week. I know you told me last Friday, Jules right now, because of the COVID-19 is only open on Fridays. From what yes. time? From 11 until whenever the product is finished. Oh, okay. From 11 so, a.m. until whenever the product is finished. So I was really waiting on you to come down here all week. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great. It was great. So, so tell me a bit about yourself. Well, as you could see, I'm just born St. Paulian, little farming, do barbecue on the weekends, family of three. My, my, my girl and two, two, other girl, two girl children. I have two little girl children. Okay, yeah. I saw, I saw one last week. Who was yes. right? I said you're going to be famous. But she's sleeping right now. Oh, she's sleeping, okay. I don't want to be seeing her right now. Yeah, it would be nice she's to have her here. Uh huh. So, oh, me a little. Okay, so tell me a bit about the pork chop. So, how long do you, you kind of marinate them first? Yes. Uh huh. I'm going to do my seasoning. I'm a little. Herbs and spice that I normally season with first and then do a little marinating after. Yeah. And today, that's all I do. Put okay. Them on now. Okay, so you marinate them like overnight? Marinate them kind like of overnight? Like last night? Or this like morning? This morning. Oh, this morning. About okay. An hour or so. Okay, okay, great. Okay. And then you got them on the grill and then you're going to baste it. So you baste it with a little sauce last week. Based on the country at my table here. Okay, right. Uh -huh. I have all the sauce and spices where they normally use. To base them will give you the food that they want that they're looking for. Okay, fantastic. Oh great. Oh it's lovely. And I like last week as well too. I saw you which I wanted I want to show everybody today as well. Jules is real skillful with the with the Chinese knife as well. I like how you had it full of paper and you then kind of flipped it over. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So I want I, I definitely want I definitely gotta show everybody how you did that as you well. Get, you will get that little as soon as they're ready, I'll give you that little feature. Oh okay, okay, great. But I haven't tried the chicken yet. I, I kind of still, you know what happened? The reason why I've been trying the pork is because I've been eating a lot of chicken. No, I've been a lot. <laughs> so, and I love pork. So that's why I wanted to really try the pork as well too. Yeah, you can try it. Yeah, sure, no problem. So long as you're ready. I have, I have, I have already finished. So I can get you 
okay. sample if you want. Great. Now, since St. Kitts has reopened uh, fully, well, with yeah. the exception of your report, I know curfew now is like 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Are you going to open a few more days other than just Fridays? Because yeah. your product is really outstanding. Sure. I don't normally do farming. Yes. I'm, a really, I'm really a farmer. Eh? Okay. So try to normally do farming. So I don't eat food like that after. I want to do it like three days in the week. Like you said, Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah. Uh, I might just leave it and say Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. So all of that right now is in the making. Okay. Okay. No, I understand. And what kind of vegetables do you farm at the moment? Everything: carrots, cabbage, cucumbers, potatoes, nuts, pumpkin, potatoes, sweet peppers. Stuff okay, so if I wanted to buy some stuff from you now, I can buy some stuff. Like, are you you have stuff available? Right, right, right now. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. I hit a gong. I hit a gong spot right now. Okay. Because most what I had already sold out, so I just transplanting now to catch back the market again for when it came out. Okay. Okay. Understood. Look how the Corona had us couldn't go on the farms and go on the farms and so. Yeah. Yeah. Had us right now. Just done transplant, and the only thing I start eating sweet potatoes in the next two weeks. Pumpkins don't come up in the next couple of months. Okay, okay. So, Joe, if anyone, if anybody wanted to reach you and call in, is there a phone number that they can call? Yeah, seven six five. Seven six five. You know what? No, let me give you my old. Digital number 7605301. 7605301. So you can actually That's call my in old order. Personal. I always have the phone on. You can catch me at that number anytime. What's that number again? 760. 760. 560. 5301. 5301. 7605301. That's so you can my call personal in. number at any time. Any time, call ahead and order this amazing barbecue pork chops as well as a chicken. So I'm going to go ahead right now and buy, you, buy from you two pork chops. Because I, I've had it on my mind all week. So I'm just gonna step aside for a few minutes. All right. Let you finish what you're doing. I'm gonna purchase two of these as well. Sure. Okay, so I'm here with Jules, and he just prepared for me doing the amazing flip. And this is the, the chicken. I'm just gonna try this chicken here. It looks so delicious. I just wanna try a bite of this. I, I didn't try this one last week, so I'm gonna try it now. That's amazing. Well, I try my best to make people happy. Mm -hmm. Look, you're making me really happy today. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. You gotta come down to Moore's Barbecue with Jules here in St. Paul's. Mm. That's great. I love how crispy it is as well too. It's really, really good. Almost tastes like Chinese in some sense. <laughs> the mm. It's really good. I well, probably put a little dabbling in everything. Mm -hmm. Well, you can wrap this one back up. I'm gonna try another pork. Yeah. Mm. Almost want to eat the bones. It's so good. <laughs> oh. So he's gonna do now the pork. Mm. This one is to die for. Got a bit of barbecue sauce goes on now. Oh wow, amazing. It looks so delicious, so tasty. I'm giving you a favorite flip. Mm -hmm. Let's get the, let's see the, the flip now. This is something you gotta try at home when, you, when you're at home, guys. Oh, look at that, okay. One dropped off, but it's still a winner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we flipped it back on, we gotta get it. And then a bit of more barbecue sauce on top. I just finish it up with a little more sauce. Uh-huh. And then give it a try. Just put it in the trash for me. Thank you. Serve it. Thank you. So this is the pork. This, thank you very much, Jules. This is pork I told you about. Let's, Let's try this pork. Help you, sir. Let's just get a piece of this pork. Mm. 
That is so good. That is so, so good. It's actually addictive. Really addictive. That's the pork right there. And I love how it's just rustic in the foil. It's really, really lovely. Let's just try another piece. Mmm. So delicious. So, Jules, you have anything else you want to tell the people about this pork? And anything else you want to say? Not really. Everything has already been said. If you want to know about the famous pork, you check yourself. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is come to the grill, fit more barbecue grill and try it and everything would speak for itself. Okay, great. I don't have to speak. Let the pork speak. The chicken speak for itself. Both are speaking for themselves loudly as well too. <laughs> Alright, well that's it for me. I'm John Hazard. I'm here with Jules. Moore's Barbecue, the most amazing barbecue and chicken in St. Kitts. You gotta come down, you gotta check it out. Don't miss this. In St. Paul's, what's, what's the here called again? That's where on the Station Street, around the turning. S Station Street around the turning? I normally be located at two areas at that point in time, and I'm located up by the Richard's shop, by the Farmer's Prime Minister's house. Okay, excellent. So okay. I have two locations, I mean, there are two locations now. So maybe this week I'll be here, the other week I'll be by the shop, by the Richard shops. Okay, excellent. Okay, Richard shops. Okay, so that's it for me. I'm John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food. Mm -hmm.